Um, so I had a card declined or failed. So you can see I had an Amex card in here. This is mm -hmm. for this is for a client of mine, and <clears throat> so the auto recharge failed uh, because of the ten dollar balance, right? So it was right here. Oh, well, there's the one ninety seven. So yeah, there's the uh, auto recharge failed, and then also the SAS payment failed as well. So I got with the client and I updated his card. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can see now I have a Visa in here. You can see there's the Amex mm -hmm. and there's the Visa. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really know how this looks like, what the process is for, um, you know, attempting to re to attempting to gather that 197. I didn't know as well that the looks like looks like since the balance was lower that it, I was able to successfully auto recharge the credits there. So that went through. And then I have a $1 charge that went through as it looks like maybe they just automatically kind of tested it or something. So my right. question today is what do I need to do to charge that 197 now that was due on the first to this new card? Okay. Let's click refresh at the top right just to make sure that the system didn't try to do it again already. Okay, I would recommend going into your Stripe account, making sure that it hasn't been charged, and you can charge them directly from there. Okay, so here's Stripe. So how would I, how would I do it you in such? So they they weren't charged at all, right? No. How would I do it in such a way that it's connected to high level and, you know. Everything. And you see where it says basic monthly? Click into that and it says past due. Okay, so click on that. Let me do scroll down. There's actions. Mm -hmm. So it, it is retrying, so I wouldn't do it yet. Because it, it says, is retrying. It says it's gonna do it on the on October eighth. On the eighth, correct. There's so because let me see, can, uh, maybe you can try to uh, do it quicker. Click those three dots on the right side. Right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not gonna do it. Let me see. View the customer. I want to see if it's gonna if you can move the data. But I know because that's the way Stripe is set up, it will retry it. So I I wouldn't charge them because on the eighth, if it does not, that's gonna update the actual subscription. So on the eighth is when they will retry it to make sure that it works. Okay. So I would wait until the eighth to make sure that they don't get double charged. I see. You you don't <laughs> think you don't think that uh, update subscription? No, that's gonna make that's gonna change it. It's gonna change your subscription. Okay. So you really think the best thing to do is just because what about this here? Because there's I could make that change there. Go ahead and change it. To right here. Now, you see, Aiden tells you that that's the default. The 1829. So go ahead and change it. Okay. Save it. Make sure you save everything. Scroll. It says update subscription right here on the upper okay. right hand and side. And that's your password. Yeah. Um. Now let me see something. Uh, go back to the. the let me see. Scroll down. Okay. Click over where it says. Try, retrying it's okay perfect on the eighth though it's gonna charge the card that we just reselected yeah because um let me see does it allow you to refresh it right next to it sometimes it used to they changed this a lot too um nope that's just your monthly subscription i mean you can retry the charge right now oh okay here. yeah let's do that Okay, so there's the Amex and there's the new one. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, perfect. So, it's not going to be oh, tried anymore. I just wanted to make sure. Nice. Okay, so and then do you do you think that that will do you think that that will flow through to here as well pretty soon or Refresh maybe? Just let me see. Yeah. Is that it right there? That is your Look at that. Okay, thanks so much. I appreciate it.
Of course. Thank you so much, Gene. Okay. Have an amazing day. You too. Bye. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.